Praise the Most High today, family. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High. Yahuwah. Through his son, Yahushua Hamashiach. Which the text says, He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can get to, to the Father but through and by him. Praise the Most High. And I'm so glad. That I have him, that I have a relationship with my Abba Yah today. Through the physical representation, Yahusha. And pardon me, family, I'm all anxious to get on this idea. Can't be looking too scruffy. <laughs> Praise the most high family. This is a grand day today, family. Hallelujah. Thank the most high I have a short day today, which I need. Yes, indeed I do. I do, I do, I do. Hallelujah. There I go, just ashy. Praise the Most High. Well, I did. I finished my job. Went on by the store and got me some groceries and went home and put something on in that slow ceramic cooker in the oven. So by the time we get there to the eyes, it's going to be done rendered the, the, the liquid. I got some lamb. You know, I like that lamb. It's gonna be rendered the liquid and the grease. Pardon me. And be just about ready to take that top off and let it brown up. Hallelujah. I'm excited today, family. I went by the stove. And a young fellow was sitting there waiting on me with some of them things. <laughs> Praise the Lord, sir. And I said, thank you, Father. I take them. I started not to mess with it, but what I need to get anyway would have been um, about what I was spending. But he came along with them things, and I was able to get double. Praise the Lord, sir. Most High is so gracious and kind to his family. Always showing us favor. Mm -mm -mm. Praise the Most High. I am having to get used to these glasses. These are my new specs. <laughs> Thank the Most High. I like them, although they had that bifold line in them for my reading. I told my doctor the glasses that I had before the reading, where I would look through them to read, was all the way at the bottom of the rim of the glasses. I was like, I need more space in that because I'm having to do all this and that trying to see. <laughs> but now it's right here where I can look at it. Praise the Most High. I hope everyone is well today if I didn't say it already. And that you too, like myself, are able to get out and enjoy this day. It's just gorgeous here in Charlotte. We had a couple of days of rain, cold rain, but now we got a couple of days of cold, but sunny and quite breezy. Praise the Most High. Praise the Most High family. And I had to grab a script the most I gave me that I had not um, put in my notes yet. So bear with a brother. 
I am so grateful for, for my YouTube family. Or should I say my Kodesh family? <laughs> my Hebraic family. Praise the most high for you, family. I appreciate every one of you and love you. And pray for you every day. That the most high will continue to give us eyes to see, ears to hear, hearts to perceive, and therefore mouth, a mouth to speak. Eyes to see, ears to hear, mouth to speak, uh, heart to perceive, and therefore a mouth to speak boldly. Hallelujah. Praise the most high for you, family. I can't be having that music, that music in my recording. I like that breeze, but I don't know if that breeze going to be affecting it either. Thank the most high, family. Our idea is the writing is on the wall. Oh, boy. The writing is on the wall. Yes, indeed it is. Let's get excited about this. Because the text says, the end of Esau is the beginning of Jacob. Jacob, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning. And we can take that to read that Esau is the end of this world system. Or we could even say Esau's control of this world system is ending and Jacob is beginning. Yasharel family. Yes, sir. It's our time. I know some folks say we got next. That's a good way to look at it. Praise the most high. We never lost it because we are. <laughs> Praise the most high. See, the most I just had to put us in time out a while. <laughs> oh, boy. We was in time out for 400 long years. Yeah, it was long. And I guarantee you one thing, family, we won't never make the mistakes we made, our ancestors made, or that we made ourselves in the, the lands of our captivities. Mm -mm -mm. We have been living hot messes. <laughs> yes, we have. We have been living hot messes just stink mm -mm. and the writing on the wall means there are clear signs that something unpleasant or unwelcome unwelcoming is going to happen clear signs that something unpleasant or unwelcome is about to happen and family can we say it's time to make a bank run Oh boy, these banks shutting down like dominoes falling. Bloom, 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 one right after the other, and I'm loving it. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed, I am. I'm loving it. Like that old song, I'm loving it, McDonald's. Or that old um, hook. Because mm -mm -mm. I know this world ain't, this, this place is not my home. Hallelujah, as we did a recording here in the last few days. This is not your home. This is not our home. We coming out. Hallelujah. And it's going down day by day, family. I heard somebody say it's a slow fall. <laughs> a slow death. Yeah, but it's picking up. And I praise the Most High for it. And... The writing on the wall comes out of the script in Daniel chapter 5 verse 1 through 7. Really the whole text, but we're just going to read 1 through 7 and then 18 through 30. The writing on the wall. Our title is, the writing is on the wall. Oh <laughs> yes indeed. It's on the wall right now as we speak family. And check out um what we're reading. And picture in your mind's eye our enemies and how they carry themselves. And I say our enemies, we should say the leaders of this world system, Hasatan's children. King Belshazzar, Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his nobles 
and drank wine with them. Oh boy. While Bell's Shazar was drinking his wine, he gave orders to bring the gold and silver goblets that Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem so that the king and his nobles, his wives and concubines might drink from them. So they brought in the gold goblets that had been taken from the temple of the Most High, Yahuwah, in Jerusalem. And the king and his nobles, his wives and his concubines drank, drank from them. As they drank the wine, they praised the gods of gold and silver and of bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Remember that, family. <clears throat> the silver, the gold, silver, bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Suddenly, the fingers of a human hand appeared on and wrote on the plaster of the wall near the lampstand in the royal palace. The king watched the hand as it wrote. His face turned pale and he was so frightened that his legs became weak and his knees were knocking. Oh boy. Now that's nervous family when your knees go to knocking. <laughs> Praise the most high when your knees go to knocking. You scared. You were quite scared then you ready to run. The king summoned the enchanters, astrologers, and the diviners. Now, this is where we're going to skip, family. Uh, it goes on to tell the story that um, he summoned them folks, but they couldn't do nothing about it. They didn't know what was going on. So he wanted some answers. Who was his hand? What was going on? What's, who was this writing? And more than anything else, what did they write? Your majesty, the most high Elohim, gave your father Nebuchadnezzar sovereignty and greatness and glory and splendor. Because of the high position he gave him, all the nations and people of, of every language dreaded and feared him. Oh. Those the king wanted to put to death. And yeah, family, think think about who we're um in the lands of our captivity. Where we are strangers. I heard an ox say last evening that. This, this place has only been in power because we had to go in time out. This is my own words. Because we need to be judged. We need to be punished for our disobedience to our Abba Yah. But he gave this, this, this nation a lawfully place. A high place. The highest. Pretty much in history. At a very young age. See, this country was just founded and um, pretty much just born. Now listen to 19 again. Because of the high position he gave him, the Most High gave it to him. All the nations and people of every language dreaded and feared him. Can we say they dreaded and feared the U.S.? Or they used to. <laughs> Those the king wanted to put to death he put to death. Those he wanted to spare, he spared. Those he wanted to promote, he promoted. Those he wanted to humble, he humbled. America. Their stronghold over the nations. Where they just go and trifle folks. Take all the resources and goods and make slaves out of them. But when his heart became arrogant and hardened because hardened with pride, he was disposed from his royal throne and stripped of his glory. Oh, can we say Babylon? He was driven away from people and given the mind of, of an animal. He lived with the wild donkeys. And ate grass like the ox. And his body was drenched with the dew of heaven until he acknowledged that the Most High Elohim is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and sits over them anyone he wishes. You see, that's what's coming, family. China and Russia. 
and the BRICS nations. The 10. Getting ready to trifle the hoe. Getting ready to burn the hoe, as the text says. They're going to be the new power for only a hot minute. Praise the Most High, but we know who is the power. Instead, you have set up, or pardon me, instead you have set yourself up against the Most High, the Elohim of Heaven. America won't let his people go. Don't want to pay him reparations. Hating this critical race theory. Or should we say the truth? You had the goblets from his temple brought to you. And you and your nobles, your wives and your concubines drank from them. You praised the, the Elohims of silver and gold. Of bronze, iron, wood and stone which cannot see or hear or understand. But you did not honor the most high Elohim, Yahuwah. Who holds in his hands your life. And all your ways. Therefore he sent the hand. That wrote the inscription. This is. And this is this is all Daniel family. Pardon me. I skipped down without saying that. Um, his wife. Brought him to mind. About Daniel. And this is what he went on to say. Therefore he sent. The hand that wrote the inscription. This is the inscription that was written. Meany, meany, tickle, parson. Here's what those words mean. Meany, Yahuwah has numbered the days of your reign and brought it to an end. Can we say that this world system, system's reign, hey, the days have been numbered and is brought to an end? And see, the first thing to go, family, is them finances. Oh, boy, is the loot. You go to mess with people's money, family, the writing is showing up on the wall then. And they, they worried now. They starting to scratch their head. But praise the Most High, we've been saying this thing. The Most High is judging this country. And as one of my ox say, so the 400-year prophecy ain't real, huh? Uh oh. And see that many, many, he said twice. The Most High has numbered your days, has numbered the days of your reign and brought it to an end. Tico means you have been weighed on the scales and found one. <laughs> oh boy, that means you're lighting the bridges. <laughs> what we say in the country is, um, you done got too big for your britches. <laughs> oh boy. But this is saying you, you're light in the britches. You ain't as big as, and bad as you think you is. You have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. And Paris, or Paris, your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Same thing as this country and all the nations of this world that, that um was in confederate against our people they going into slavery then at Belshazzar's Belshazzar's command Daniel was clothed in purple a gold chain was placed around his neck and he, he was proclaimed the third highest ruler in the kingdom that very night Belshazzar king of Babylon of the Babylonians of the Babylonians was slain. And Darius the Mede took over the kingdom at the age of 62. Oh boy. Can we say oh boy family? <laughs> oh boy. And I'm loving it. Praise the most high for it. Because the, the writing is on the wall this week family. Just this week. These banks been dropping like this. Boom. 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 <laughs> One right after the other. And that's the sign, family, whether you know it or not, that we about to go home soon, sooner than later. Sooner than later. 
and all on on the social media is saying, going to make your bank run. Uh oh, <laughs> going to make your bank run. And see what's going on right now, family. The leaders are saying, calm down, everything's all right. We're going to bail out the banks. But what happens is, as I heard Ox say earlier, they give them money yesterday, and today they broke again. So the, by the time you get to the banks on Friday, you ain't got no paycheck. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's why I think the most high, he's got us all positioned. Right in the sweet spot. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. We're all positioned right in the sweet spot to where he's taking care of us. He's our provider. But we have to follow the rules. As Second Timothy 2 and 21 says, If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified and meek for the master's use, prepared for Unto every good word. And see family. What we have to do is like the text says. Flee Babylon. So that you want sharing her plagues. So you want sharing her judgment. And we know more than anything else family. We have to um, flee Babylon spiritually. As the text says. Come out from amongst them and be separated. Praise the Most High. Another text says, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and turn. See, that turning is what we call repentance. And it's turning away from this system. This idol idol ideology. Ideology of it's all about you. It's all about me, 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 I, 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 the me, 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 and the I, I, I disease, as we call it. I'm independent. You show sure is. But that independence is going to get you um, snatched up with these evil people, these hellions, Family, there are some mean-hearted individuals out here in this world. I mean, terrible. As the text says, they have no regards for children or the old. So the Most High said, he's not going to have no regard for them or their children. And the text also said, speaks of us that since we want, don't want to be a priest unto the Most High, since we turn our back on him, then he will forget us and our children. Have mercy. Have mercy. I don't want the Most High forgetting me, family. It was enough that I walked away from him and um, played the silly game or played the fool. But well, praise the Most High, family. It's a time for rejoicing. Hallelujah. The writing is on the wall, family. <laughs> the writing is on the wall. It feels so good, family, to be able to say I told you so, but not to, have, not to say it. You know, we're in a position to, to say I told you so, but we're not going to say it. We're not going to brag and boast on what the Most High give us to say and it happens. And it's all about reading the scripts. That's why the text says, study to show yourself approved. And see, a lot of people are, are, are left wanting right now. They've been placed on the scales and they, they've been found wanting because they wouldn't study to show themselves approved. They was listening to passing them. And you know I'm a mention. That's yes I am. Capacity them say everything I right. nothing to see here. Everything is okay. Our leaders have everything under control. <laughs> oh boy. And I heard a um a coach this morning on the live. 
she was saying that she was having a conversation with some folks in her house and one of these folks worked for the banking system and he was saying that um if the leaders know what they're doing it's not no problem no worries and she said she wished she could see his face right now praise the most high and family i'm like her i, I want to see some of these faces of these folks that depend on their money because you know the money is their, their Elohim yes indeed because they had that eye, eye, eye disease that me 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 disease so money is everything to them <clears throat> can you say hallelujah come on and see about us pop come on and usher us into the wilderness Pardon me. Where you would um see with us face to face. And see as the text says, and we just found out this information that passing under the rod has two meanings, a double meaning. One is to be married to him. And at the same time, he's going to expel those who reject him. Mm -mm -mm. Family, I wouldn't reject the most high. But anything, all time, family, do stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom. Hallelujah.